Hello guys, Jerry Flynn here. Today I will be talking about our new Atmosphere Editor and how you can use it to create truly amazing skies in MicroStation using Connect Edition Update 15 and our technical preview of Eon Software's View rendering engine inside MicroStation. Here seen in this first slide are a few of the Atmosphere presets that you can easily customize with our new Atmosphere Editor. One major improvement of using the View Render Engine versus Luxology is in View's ability to accurately render the atmosphere. One important aspect that can be key to a successful exterior render is often the atmosphere or sky used in the rendered scene. The scenes you render with View's advanced atmospheric engine are part of a world, a world that extends far beyond your scene. Imagine rendering your scene with a complete atmosphere, having fog, haze, real clouds, infinite ones, and not just a backdrop picture of a sky. Here you can see a simple exterior scene, path trace rendered with our afternoon preset, a cloudless sky. Here's the Atmosphere Editor dialog displaying the Sun and Clouds tab. The available presets are shown on the left. If you happen to have a copy of View Professional or View Creator, you can create your own Atmosphere ATM files and load them by clicking the Load ATM icon as shown in the callout. Notice the icons to the left of each preset. These will change to indicate whether the Atmosphere preset matches the library version stored in the DGN library or not. A triangle over the book indicates that the local version is different from the library version, whereas a check mark means it is in sync or matches the library version. The atmospheres that are local having no library version will appear in blue. Here you can see the Sky, Fog, and Haze tab, and we will be making some changes to haze, ground density, and mean altitude settings to see how that affects the render. Here is the render with haze set to 100%, and here is the render with haze mean altitude set to 500 meters, which increases the haze effect at ground level. Here is a render with haze mean altitude set to 150 meters, which lowers the haze effect even more, allowing the tops of the hills to be seen a bit clearer as the haze hangs in the lower regions. Again, starting out with the afternoon preset with a sun size 2% and the visibility of the sun set to 0.25%. In this render, the sun size is 10. As you can see, this is obviously too big, but it will be easier to see the effects when changing the visibility of sun setting. In this render, the visibility of the sun is set to 100%, and you can see that the sun is much more pronounced in the sky. The visibility of the sun control lets you adjust the sun disk visibility as rendered within the atmosphere without affecting sky or geometry lighting giving you some artistic control over the apparent brightness of the solar disk in the sky. Starting again with the default afternoon preset, we will look at how the glow intensity setting affects the rendered sky. Glow intensity controls the intensity of the bright area around the sun, which is caused by the light being reflected on the larger particles in the atmosphere, droplets of water and dust. The higher the setting, the brighter the atmosphere near the sun. The glow intensity of the default being 20%. And here's a glow intensity of 50%, pretty hot. And a glow intensity of 100%, burning hot. Hey 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.